Hi everyone, I'm Michael Taney and today we're going to be in Adobe Illustrator looking at how to create something like this. First of all, let's go up here and go to File and New. We'll leave these settings as they are for now because we'll be changing them in a moment. Then we'll go to File and Place. Control, Shift and P is the shortcut. Select our image and click Template. Click Place. Once we've done that, we'll look at the Layers palette here and unlock our template there. We'll select the Artboard tool and double click our image. Now the Artboard has changed to the exact size of our image. We can lock our layer again. And if we double click here, on the template layer and change this image to 70. So this is the um, the opacity of the image. So if we change it to 5, you won't really be able to see it. And if we make it 100, it'll just be the normal kind of size. But we want to dim the image slightly, so we'll leave it at 70. We'll go to this layer and we'll rename it to lines. Actually, base lines keep organized and there's a few different ways we can use the pen tool to kind of get the lines so we can go we'll just go up here for now you can create a brush so if you if you select the pen tool here click and then hold shift it will you can see what it's doing there it's it'll just lock every 90 or 45 degrees actually every 45 degrees if you just hold shift so you can draw a straight line if you hold shift and click there click back on the first point and drag down and you can see what it's doing here you can create this kind of a shape we just want the fill to be black and uh, no outline as well so we can swap these two around select the stroke and then click none that'll get rid of the stroke and then the brush will be I think it'll be just an off black so we'll have to double click the fill and you can drag that right down into the corner there and there we are. Or another way of doing it is you can select the pen tool again, click here, and if we hold shift again so we'll get a straight line, click there, and then deselect, you can deselect by clicking escape, the escape key. If we swap these two around, so you've got the um, just the stroke again, and then we select this width tool, so shift and W is a shortcut, you can pull the middle out here, so you can kind of customize your own your own shape on the fly so you can have a work on the fly or you can create your own brush so i think just getting used to the the pen tool in general is handy so i think just even have a play around with it first and to see what kind of shapes you can make and just click escape and just get used to kind of holding shift and pressing escape and just get used to the buttons just making different like a zigzag shape, just holding shift. I think if you can kind of master this tool, you can master pretty much most of the, the things you want to achieve in, in Adobe Illustrator. So I think even just playing around, just keep doing this. And then going back to, if you click escape, get rid of that. And select the width tool again. You can just pull certain parts out certain parts in really taper in that edge there so it goes thinner once you've got used to kind of working working with these we'll create a brush so i'll just show you how to create this this top brush here so once you've you've done what we said earlier on so you select hold shift click there pull drag down so I've got your, your shape should look something like that select this go over to our tabs here and we'll go to the brushes tab on the side here I'll just drag this out so you can see what I'm doing and then we'll select new brush new art brush okay and we'll just leave everything as it is and select okay then you can see our brushes here so now if we create something like that with a stroke 
and I'll just dupe it here so you can see what it is and we'll, we'll select the artbrush that we've just created you'll see that it goes thinner back to thick and then back to thin again and taper out at the end just using this brush at the top now that we've got our brush made we'll start tracing this image here and just start with a few base kind of shapes so I usually start around around where the eyes are so if you want to end that you can click escape and again do parts of the eyes here escape click there again and then click escape and just keep doing this until you've you've done the eye <laughs> Once you've done the eye, you can select the whole uh, your whole thing by using the selection tool up here, which is V. So click here and then drag, select the whole whole lot that you've been working on, and then select your art brush there. And then if we hide the layer, the template layer, you can see what we've created so far. And just go around the rest of the image um, just using the same technique that we've used here and just keep, keep like playing with the pen tool like this just click in escape every time so pen tool click and drag escape so click click and drag escape click click and drag escape <laughs> Once you've done the base of the shape, select the whole thing again and then select your art brush and then you can just start to tweak little, little parts If you want to select an uh, individual point, select the um, white arrow here and then just select on this point. You can drag it where wherever you need to. Just give it a little nudge down there. Also, if you want to make the stroke thinner, you can select the stroke here and make it thicker or thinner, so 0 0.5. Now we'll lock this layer and start a new layer. So I click create new layer here and call this hair. So just so we can kind of save this, this part and then we can start a new layer. And then again, just do the same with the, what we've been doing with the pen tool and just kind of feel the flow of the hair and just go through the next kind of stages. So click and escape. Once we've finished with the hair, we will start a new layer underneath the base lines here and just call this body. And then just do the same what you've done with the hair and the face um, with the rest of the body. Once we've finished creating all the outlines, we'll create another layer under the body. So a new layer here. And just create, call this um, 
block block color and then just start blocking out the color um, where we need to we'll start here with the pupil so if you just click outline around those and then we'll just switch from the outline to just fill and that's the basics of line art in adobe illustrator uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tips tricks and shortcuts my name is michael Turney. i'll catch you in the next video